Good morning, AHS. I'm Olivia Foster. And I'm Olivia Grady, and today is Tuesday, December 8th. Students Against Destructive Decisions is doing a cookie gram fundraiser for their winter event. You can pick up a friend who would like to send cookies to, and they will be hand-delivered to their doorstep on Sunday, December 20th by the SAD board. All recipients must be located in Andover. Our cookies are homemade, and of our bakers wear masks and gloves. To fill out the form, please go to SAD's Instagram, Andover underscore SAD. The link is in their bio. Giving back this year means more than ever. The senior board will be hosting this year's Toy for Tots drive. You can drop off your new and unwrapped toys at the decorated table at school on your in-person learning days. We will also hold a contactless drop-off next Wednesday outside AHS from 1 to 2.30. Amigos Unidos is collecting new winter accessories such as hats, gloves, mittens, scarves, and socks to donate to the Lawrence Boys and Girls Club. We have a box in the foyer where you can drop off your donations by Friday, December 11th. Please consider supporting. The AHS Cyber Buddies, a new group focused on solving technical issues, is launching their help sessions today during each block. Students and teachers looking for tech help can join the Google Meet available in Classlink. For anyone with tech questions, there is also a Google form to fill out. Cyber Buddies will be available every Tuesday and Friday during each block from 10 to 11 o'clock. Attention seniors, there are 15 days left before winter break to place your order for the 2021 AHS yearbook. Don't miss out on your senior year captured in your incredible 2021 yearbook. Placing your order is simple and fast. Go to www.yearbookordercenter.com. Order number 13314. It takes five minutes of your time and you will lock in your senior yearbook for senior week and graduation. We are not ordering quantities of extra copies for June, so you must act soon. January 15th is the final deadline to ensure that you receive your copy of the 2021 yearbook. Join us for Andover Vocal Music's annual Broadway Cabaret next Friday. The 2020 Andover Broadway Virtual Cabaret present by, presented by the Andover High School Show Choir will premiere on Friday, December 18th from 7 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. The evening will include group and solo performances from Andover High School students. The event will be live streamed. Purchase your tickets today and don't forget to tune in on Friday, December 18th for an evening filled with the glitz and glamour of Broadway. Tickets can be purchased at the link on your screen. Each AHS News will be spotlight some of the club here at AHS. Today's club spotlight features the Girls for Girls Club. Welcome everyone. Can you all go around and say your first and last name position for the Girls for Girls Club? My name is Quinn Soberai and I'm president of Girls for Girls. Um, I'm Mimi Kang and I am also president of Girls for Girls. Um, I'm Alex Hazelwood and I am a member of um, the Girls for Girls Club. Is What is the purpose of the Girls for Girls Club? The goal of our club is to empower um, young women um, of all um, ages, races, sexual orientations, socioeconomic statuses, and just kind of provide like a safe space to um, for everyone to come together. And we also do a lot of our work through activism and um, fundraising as well for feminist organizations. How has COVID impacted the club? We are currently meeting virtually um, once a week on Zoom. We've been communicating mainly through a group chat. We also have a Google Classroom. We've definitely made it clear to our members that like if they can't come one day to a virtual meeting, it's totally okay. So we usually send a little summary of what we talked about in the group chat afterwards just to keep people in the loop and like I think we've been handling it the best we can. We're hoping that as the weather gets warm again after this long winter, we'll be able to do some outdoor activities, um, socially distanced and with masks, because it would be really nice to be able to see each other face to face. Why do you think women's rights and equality are important? In order for um, women to feel equal, there's a lot that needs to happen. And we think that equality is one of our number one concerns because We've seen firsthand opportunities be taken from women, from girls, just because of the fact that they're a woman. So um, we're working like in, a, in small ways. We're trying to create a group of really confident young women as well who feel safe with themselves and safe with other women. We definitely want to encourage um, 
supporting each other. It's like a really big part of the environment. Like I think even at like a younger age, like things are always differentiated by like gender. Just because like I'm a girl or like he's a boy that like shouldn't mean anything and that we're like equally as strong and equally as powerful. I feel like it's so important to like empower the girls in this group to make them feel like they are important and that they are like are needed in this world. And I feel like that's just one step that we need to do to every woman and girl out there just to tell them that they're important and they shouldn't stop fighting and they shouldn't give in to the stigmatized world that we live in. Why do you think other students should join the Girls for Girls Club? I would encourage anyone to join Girls for Girls um, in order to have a low commitment yet um, very supportive group who will always be there to support you. Just if anyone wants to feel empowered or get involved in um, our club, I think that you should come check it out and try it out for a meeting or try it out for a fundraiser with us. As a member, after I leave every meeting, I always feel so empowered that I have this a big support system of girls who just will support me. And it's such a safe space. And we all, we, it's a lot of fun. We talk about fun things. I know we do have a lot of serious conversations, but I say you should join to have just a safe space to come to after school to, and just to hang out with some fun girls. <laughs> do you have any upcoming events students should be look, on the lookout for? We're planning on making some masks with a red lightning bolt symbol on it, which is symbolic of the movement um, of people in Poland right now that are fighting um, their abortion rights got taken away. And so the activist movement um, in Poland right now is that red lightning bolt. So um, we're hoping to sell and fundraise for, in order to send some money over to those movements while also educating our community about what's happening in other places because it's really important to us. And another thing right now that we're working on is we're working with town government, like local government on trying to figure out how to include feminine hygiene products in the um, schooling budget so that in our middle and high schools, we can have pads and tampons available. We also talked about trying to uh, more like expand it. So we want to like reach out to younger generations because we feel like this is such like an important topic that shouldn't just be a high school thing. Um, I'll also add on that note that, like, we don't have any um, guy members yet this year, but, like, anyone is welcome and everyone's input is very valuable. Um, I think what you guys do is great, and thank you for meeting with me, and hopefully um, this will help more people join your club. Now over to Jacob, the host of the AHS Cook-Off. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of uh, the Cook-Off. Uh, this week, we're going to have Tyler Atchison a junior in Andover High School, and then Jacob Moore, another junior, which is me. They will be competing, facing off, making two dishes uh, of Thanksgiving leftovers, whatever they want. Hey, what I will be creating with my Thanksgiving leftovers is a Thanksgiving sandwich, or so a turkey sandwich. So uh, I'll show you the ingredients right now, and then we'll get to cooking. So I chose two slices of white bread, leftover gravy, some leftover stuffing, leftover mashed potatoes and then of course the leftover turkey okay so i've got the bread in the toaster now and i'm going to set the toaster for about four minutes so it's not too overcooked but not too undercooked so it's got a nice crunch to it so uh let's get the toast going and meanwhile i'm going to start preparing getting all the rest of the food ready now that i've got all the ingredients in the pan i'm going to be putting this on medium to simmer so kind of just low heat and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it to keep all the moisture in and I'm just gonna, it looks like our toast is done, so let's take that out and then we'll bring it over to the cutting board. Here it is guys, the final presentation of the Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. So I'll try to give it the best score. I know I made it, so it's not really fair but I will give my honest opinion. All right, I think from a scale of one to 10, just of how good it is, I think it's cooked all the way through. I think it's warm, it's great. I mean, I'm gonna give it a solid 8.2.
I'm giving it an 8 point. Alright guys, today we're making some egg roll Thanksgiving leftovers. Got some ingredients here. Gotta get some vegetable oil, some gravy, turkey of course. We're gonna need some stuffing, cranberry sauce, and of course, the egg roll. Okay guys, get a pan, put it on the stove, grab your vegetable oil, and you're gonna put a good amount in. Our stove on to about medium. So the cranberry sauce is laying down. Then we add turkey and stuffing, and then we just roll it up. That's the perfect color. Nice crispy little texture. Oozing. What's that 10, mom? Yeah! And now that each dish has been made, uh, we want you guys to decide who you think won. So uh, after this comes out, we will put a poll on the Instagram and you guys get to decide whose dish just looked better overall, Jacob or Tyler's. If you have any announcements or events for us to promote, please submit them in the Google form at bit.ly slash ahs announcements. That's all for today. We hope you have a great day.